And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mateusz Gamer! Gamer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Daniel the Hangman Hooker! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, New Zealand's Dan Hooker back under the lights tonight. It's amazing to look at the career trajectory for this man when he made his UFC debut back in 2014, vaulting into lightweight contention in 2020. And if he wants to get back into that top five, tonight is one he's got to have. He believes his length is going to be a factor. He believes his striking game is going to be a factor. And, and now we'll see if his opponent can do anything about it. to the single collar guy. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Good defense blocking that punch. All right, nice take down there by the more well-rounded fighter and not much resistance from the boxer on that attempt, DC. Well, the level change was so strong. He went from upright to, to down in his wrestling stance so quick that it was hard for the boxer to respond. It was perfect. The timing was as good as it's going to be inside the octagon. Miss with that jab attempt there. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Nice pass. Mm, nice. He's going to come now. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Hooker's back in full mount. This is where he wants to be. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Hooker. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly for his opponent to react. Much of the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. He does a phenomenal off of his punches. Hooker's trying for a submission here. Oh, very tight. Holding the position. Fighting for it. He wants it bad. Oh, gives up on the submission now. So preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, nice headlock. 
Oh, he's advancing. How in the world did he escape that submission? Posture's up here and now going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Hooker. So a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Big ground and pound. Final seconds of round one. Uh, round two next. Uh, All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. All right, second round underway. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques constantly, changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish. Huge yeah! strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up that much. Now a knee. Bloods in the water, you gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let it off the hook like that. Because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at any point. nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Gamrot's in half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Hooker gets up, he is back on the feet here. So the blood really started to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's doing it. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Cameron going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing them. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt him very bad. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration. He's going to get a team. 
Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, right into Mount. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss it. Eh? And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Hooker's in half court. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Gamera. <laughs> round three next. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Third it. round underway. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice job blocking that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. What a beautiful jab landing there. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that fight. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Plans the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by the Head kick land. Block there. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Stay heavy on that Let's go. Get it. Well, I'm not sure if there's a Gigi jump. Three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Hooker's back in full mount. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. He 
He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight technique. He might get a finish here. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. absolutely did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cart Hooker's going for a choke. That guillotine is tight. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking fits with unbelievable wrestling. Cameron gets the double leg takedown now. All right, so as many expected, this fight goes the distance, but a lot of action in there, particularly when it comes to his offensive wrestling. I mean, he wrestled at a really high level tonight. He knew that his opponent was going to get back to his feet if he got taken down. But he was so committed to the takedown, to the pressure, to the grind, they say, that he was able to really wear him down and get the victory. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Mateusz Gamer! All right, well, this is mixed martial arts. It is not boxing as such. The more well-rounded fighter gets it done by decision tonight. A beautiful performance. When they go back and watch this, him and his team will be very satisfied with the work that he put on paper tonight. What a tremendous job.